Oh man, that's just sheer power. Oh man. Need to try and do this carefully. Welcome back guys. I'm going to literally do a last minute sea throw session here on the rocks. Uh, I've just finished work so I'm not really dressed appropriately for the weather because it is starting to rain but again it's last minute so I'm going to get the lure out in the water and maybe see if we can get a sea trout. But we'll just have to wait and see because I've not actually seen any activity whatsoever but may as well give it a shot guys eh? I'm going to be using the Urban Finesse again by HTO. Awesome rod. I had it for about four years now. Cost about 35 quid. Uh, that's just a 2,500 reel spooled with 8 pound Iowa sensor. I'm going to be using this bad boy. Hopefully that gives us a chance of catching something because that looks awesome for the water. So we've got a good chance today guys. This is the sort of area we're going to be fishing today. As I said it's last minute. You've always got a chance on the rocks. I've been very successful with sea trout just around the corner here uh, from kind of rocky outcrop areas so I've never fished this place before. If there's sea trout kicking about I'm sure we have a good chance of catching one. Oh, I reckon you know we've got a really good chance. The tide's coming in, uh, nice grey skies, bit of rain on the water, sounds quite good. Have a few casts. As for activity, I've not really seen any activity to be honest. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean they're not there. Uh, but you've always got a chance, don't you? I've always found from the rock marks, I always seem to get or see nice size sea trout, usually. So hopefully we're getting for the chance of catching something. I've just decided to use the lures today again. Uh, instead of the fly because obviously fishing from a rock mark like this here is terrible for trying to get back cast on the fly so the savage gear seeker it is uh, I think the high tide's at about 6pm so we've still got a few hours till then i just seen a little bit of movement out to my left hand side there also that bird that's to the left of me came up with a small fish in its mouth as well which is pretty cool. So there's got to be something somewhere. Has to be. I need to try and break this curse. I've not had a sea trout in about just over a month now. Don't get me wrong, I've not been out fishing right enough, but. See when I was bringing my lure over there, I seen a. F I don't know, I might have just been seeing something. I thought I seen like a flash of gold, like maybe like a pollock or a. Coley tried coming up for it. Could be wrong. I just thought I seen a flash when I was bringing that across here. Definitely looked golden, like it was a pollock. I mean, this being this a rock mark, it's got to hold pollock at high water, surely. This is the first time I fished here, so. I uh, must have just been seeing something. I think your mind does that when you've not had a fish in a while. <laughs> Gives you false hope. I've seen a rise just maybe, I don't know, say 10 metres away. Uh, on, the, on the assumption it's definitely a sea trout. So there is one lurking about here somewhere. Whether we can entice it to hit this lure, that's a different story. But there's definitely sea trout around this area just now. Which is giving me a lot of motivation. You know what it's like if you've been fishing somewhere for a while, you're not seeing any activity, you start doubting yourself. But once you start seeing the rises, you know you're in for a chance, possibly. I'll just try and cover this area just now. There we go, guys. Look at that. Took it literally a metre away. That's a nice size sea trout as well. Sorry I couldn't get any footage of that. I just was not expecting that whatsoever. Oh man. <laughs> That's a nice size. Oh, lovely. Just gonna put the drag on a little bit. Oh man. 
that's absolutely brilliant. Oh, I'm so glad I couldn't get the footage of the take there. Literally, it took it where it is just now. That's a nice size sea trout. Lovely. That is big. Jesus Christ. That's one of the biggest ones I've had in a while, that's for sure. Oh man, that's just sheer power. Oh man. Need to try and do this carefully. Oh man. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Uh, don't get in the, don't go in the rocks. Come on. Oh man, that's that's a nice size. <laughs> that does not want to come in. I'm telling you just now, that does not want to come in. Oh, lovely. Oh man. This oh this rod. That <laughs> Oh come on. Look at the look at the power in that. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Please, please. Yes! Oh lovely. Oh that's a lovely size sea trout. Oh that is smashing. Put my rod there. Oh that's a smashing size sea trout. Look at that guys. That is awesome. As I said, it took it literally a meter away, so I couldn't get the actual take on video. Absolutely gutted. Ah, oh, well, we'll get this uh, unhooked and released quickly. Oh, lovely! Look at that, guys. That is an awesome size sea trout. Look at that. Oh man, that's a bar of silver. Oh, lovely. Look at that, guys. Honestly, that is lovely. That is lovely. On you go, buddy. On you go, buddy. Oh, what a fight. What a fight. That is awesome. Brilliant. So happy at that, guys. Guys, look who I just met on the shoreline here. Hello, guys. <laughs> that was your car. <laughs> oh. What are you up to? Yeah, not a lot, man. Just like coming for a wee sport fishing. Nice, mate. Try and get some trout. Well, I just had, I had a really nice sea trout earlier on there, mate. Oh, really? Honestly, mate. It's starting to get a bit windy here, right enough. Yeah. I noticed that as I was going along, but I thought, you're here. There's chances. I hope, mate. Yeah. But no, I did have a nice sea trout there earlier there. Are you just finished work, are you? Yeah, just finished work. Yeah. Try to get as much time in as I can, man. Eh? That's it, mate. Is that you hooked? Addicted. The addiction starts, mate. That's, you see when you start looking at new rods all the time, man. Like, oh. <laughs> That's it. You realise you got carried over, Well, for activity-wise here, mate, I had that first sea trout, and then after that, kind of the activity's been kind of thinning out. Yeah. So, if you're up for a fishing session, we can go. We can go further south if you want, mate. Sounds good to me. Get out the wind if you want. Definitely. Sound. Lovely. Sweet. Let's go. Right. I'll just go get my fishing stuff, mate. Sweet. So we've ended up coming round to this mark here, basically because of the wind cover. Uh, when I was fishing earlier on before, I managed to get a nice sea trout, uh, but it did start to thin out the activity. So hopefully, me and Lewis end up catching something here. What do you reckon, Lewis? That's it, mate. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, we'll be able to get another seat out for you. Here we are, guys. We're in. Yes, yes, lovely guys, lovely. What a lovely fish. 
Lovely. Just gotta take my time here because it's rocky. Lovely. I'm just gonna release it. I can. Lovely. Beautiful. Well, that's my second sea trout. Hopefully, we're gonna get many more. Thanks, guys. Well, that's the end of the session. Uh, I managed to get a nice sea trout at the start, and then we met Lewis, and well, you got your second sea trout. Second sea trout, everybody. That's and awesome, mate. That was a good size as well. That was lovely. The fight was incredible. Yeah, that's an awesome one. And just out of the blue, I hit from the side. Boom. Brilliant. Okay. Absolutely brilliant, man. So, yeah, pretty good. Last minute sea trout session, <laughs> to be honest. Glad I popped out and said hello. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome.